chat because I just got some random thoughts on my mind while I deep condition so if you guys would like to chit chat with me listen to me chit chat deep condition with me then keep on watching so I went straight <laughs> literally I was straight from Thursday night until now and today's Tuesday I feel like ugh, I'm using the Texture ID Deep Treatment Mask, um, Sweet Almond Oil, Wheat Protein, and Honey. It restores strength and hydration. I feel like it's a good protein moisture balance coming from straight hair, which my straight hair pretty much look like blown out here. But I do have a video on this, so I will link that up in the cards above. As you can see, my hair reverted right back. I might insert a picture of how it looked. Um, it could be popping up right about now. So, I felt like, now I don't have any kids, but I imagine this is what a, being a new parent would feel like. It would feel like being a first time parent and then dropping my kid off for a weekend for the first time. That's what it felt like I did. I felt like I dropped my curls off somewhere <laughs> and I left them. And I do not like the feeling like at all. I just feel like one, it's crazy because like my hair is literally curl trained. So I would literally have to heat train my hair to get it to look as straight as it used to look and I'll put a picture of like back when I was getting my hair straight every two weeks how that looked so that should be popping up right about now but yeah I did not like that feeling like I missed my curls it took me y'all hair was where I was like, this is not for me. It took me 30 minutes to wrap my hair. It used to take me two minutes, if that, to wrap my hair, probably 50 seconds. It took me 30, when I say I was getting some fresh hair, I said, oh yeah, this is getting washed tomorrow. And shout out to uh, my beautician who straightens my hair. Her name is Amber. Uh, she is the mommy Anna. And she also cares about my curls because she won't plan about no heat damage over here, baby. As you can see, curls is popping. All my color looks like it's officially, officially out. I'm like black, black. But um, yeah. So it just I don't know. I was like, this takes too much time. Like, and 30 minutes may not seem like a lot, but for me, 30 minutes every day doing that two weeks when I spend probably like an hour and a half, maybe two hours on my hair, depending on if I just let it, you know, deep condition for a lengthy amount of time or you know i just take my time pre poom you know what i'm saying and then i just put it in a pineapple every day like that literally takes two seconds and i sleep on my satin or my silk whatever it is bonnet case like that was time consuming to me and working out with straight hair that's a no it's a no that's that's not for me. It ain't. It wasn't for me. It didn't do the right things for me. 
you know, because I sweat. I don't know if this is TMI, but I sweat in the back of my neck. And sometimes it get in the back of my hair. Sometimes it get a little bit on my forehead. But my thing is, if I sweat with curly hair, it ain't doing nothing but activating the product that's in my hair. Like, it's like water again. You know what I'm saying? So, that's not... That's not a problem for me. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, there's that. Let me know how long has it been since y'all, well, since you, y'all, you, y'all seem so country. Last straighten your hair. I was doing once a year. But after my level, and maybe it's because I'm 31 now. I just had a birthday, September 26th. Um, this video is probably going out on September 29th. But um, what was I about to say? Um, maybe it's because I'm 31 now. So my lack thereof of patience <laughs> has went out the window, you know? But I got a trim, so that was a plus. Okay, this hair just, it, it just wanted to hold on. I got a trim, so that was a plus. My curls are still fair. I miss my baby so much, like literally miss them so much but um yeah so that's pretty much this side of the head <laughs> um yeah it may be two years <laughs> before i see straight hair again and it is possible to get trims without straightening your hair that's not why i straightened my hair i did not straighten my hair to get a trim. I straightened my hair because it was almost my year mark. I've been busy. My beautician's been booked and busy. So yeah, I just did it a little bit earlier than normal, but you do not have to get straight hair to um, trim your ends. You don't even have to blow it out, really. You can go to, you can do that if you, you know, you know how to do it. Me personally, I'm not, I don't trust myself with no scissors unless it's like, just clipping little random pieces. But um, you can go to your local diva place. Um, I do have a video when I first got my diva cut and it'll tell you how to find diva curl stylist in your area, diva stylist to get a diva cut. And then they do, they also do trims, they do dry cuts. So, you know, it's possible you don't, have to get your hair straight. So that was that's this side of my head. For this side of my head, <laughs> I want to talk about entrepreneurship. So many people, I always do this. Oh. <laughs> so many people um, downplay nine to fives, right? Now, I'm currently in a nine to five ish situation. I'm in more like a 5.55 to 2.30-ish. But here's my thing. If everybody's an entrepreneur, who's working? <laughs> Who is, um, I need people to help me. I need somebody to help with my business or, you know what I'm saying? So if we all, if the whole world is entrepreneurs, 
who is running stuff like who is still making my uh lefty's cheesesteak when i want a cheesesteak you know you know what i'm saying or not even that like like take take my trainer for instance him and his wife own a business and marketing for being an influencer is hard work but marketing for a brand is a lot so even though his wife does a majority of the marketing and then he trains she might need help still like with the packaging of the clothing with the scheduling consultations you know what i'm saying like so everybody can't be an entrepreneur but how do y'all feel about that i feel like everybody can't be an entrepreneur me personally i do want to work i'm one of the people that want to work for myself but i'm not knocking people there are really people with with good careers like and tell me how y'all find them outside of like working for yourself tell me how y'all find them if, it, if you say college degree then that's where this ends but um yeah there are people who really have a good career and they love it and it and it provides them freedom so it's pretty much like they're working for themselves you know what i'm saying but i don't know if y'all know this this is so i love if y'all watch my 30 random facts about me video then you would know that i love to read and i would not mind being a librarian i will work for somebody they make good money they make like 19 dollars an hour the only problem is you need a degree and people always be like you need a degree to check out books that is not all they're doing first of all you got to plan events i'm sure because they be having like little events for uh at the library for kids and random stuff you gotta do that you know what i'm saying so it's not just oh here's your checkout book because they tried to charge me 14 dollars for saying that i didn't return a book and that book was on the shelf no 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 so yeah gets a little deeper but i would not mind being a librarian now, I would need about two hours a day to read. <laughs> so, uh, that'll be one of the requirements for you, girl. But, um, yeah, I do. I do. I want, instead of saying, like, ooh, why are you working a nine to five? Say, like, I hope you get the job that provides you the freedom that you need. The freedom to do whatever it is that you need to do, whether it be to take care of your kids, spend time with your husband, work on a little hobby that you enjoy doing, but you don't really care to do full time. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's more appropriate than uh, I, your nine to five don't make money. Your nine to five don't make money like this in in three seconds like what <laughs> no but i'm happy in the career that i'm in or my nine to five pays the bills my nine to five let me get my nails done my eyebrows done. you know what i'm saying my nine to five does this so moral of this story is i don't think we should necessarily knock the nine to fives because person like myself loves going out to eat and I need somebody there to wait on me but drop your thoughts about the entrepreneurship and all that other good jazz I feel like I flew through this deep conditioning well the applying part this deep treatment mask is fire I've been slacking on my videos. I'm not even going to hold y'all up. I've really been slacking. But I've also just been going with the flow. What's for me is for me. And I really want to be an entrepreneur, uh, a YouTube influencer. 
So I'm definitely gonna remain putting in the work, but I'm not about to overstress myself because my followers have been picking up. I mean, my subscribers have been picking up, not overstressing myself. And overstressing myself only places me in a depression. It only places me in comparison of, well, this YouTuber is doing this and this YouTuber has this and that and then I don't and blah, 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 blah. No, not doing that to myself. So that's what it's been. I am going to up, I'm going to batch create. I haven't, September was my birthday when I said I was going to go hard and I went hard on enjoying life. I went out of town and I haven't been out of town in forever. And then I took a weekend to do nothing, like absolutely nothing. Or even if it wasn't absolutely nothing, it was whatever I wanted to do in that moment. It wasn't scheduled. It wasn't none of that. So that's what I took time doing a couple weekends. And then I celebrated my birthday. And now we're here going into October. So we'll see what October brings. I just wanted to do a little quick chit chat. Um, nothing major. Still really ain't put a dent in this, but hey, it's life. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I more than likely post twice a week. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.